I got Ryan here with me for this segment. You explained to everyone why you have Ryan with you. Why is Ryan here? Let's just let's just circle back. So there is an unnamed store that I will not name, Hobby Town Clearwater. <laughs> okay? There was an unnamed employee. Actually, she was a sweetheart. She was very nice. They gave him the wrong one. They Long gave story the wrong short. And I double checked. All right, let's see if they got the boulevards here. Oh, you no, want a Lego kit? I missed that drop. You could. I got tons of Lego kits. Ryan's in the toy aisle. Suddenly he's a, turning into a child. He said he was looking at some Hot Wheels at the grocery store. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. The Huracan dude. So sick. What we're really here for, I need a truck with some wheels. That's a contender. I'm making Ryan a custom. It's a truck. We need some wheels. Those are probably too yeah, big. My new apartment. Yeah, mud wheels. The mud wheels are always the best. There's snow wheels too. We might find some snow wheels. Do they do like a Ram 1500? Could you like like that? Well, that's a one. Do you want that? Those wheels? What type of? Those look like good. Wheels. 87 Dodge. D Yo, this is kind of sick to be honest. All right, grab it. Could you paint that gray part? Why is it in a case? Black. What kind of what color wheels do you want? Oh yeah. Well, now I'm thinking I want a whole different car. I mean, pick one and I can do it. There you go. F-150. Wait, is it one of those electric ones? Yes, it is. Lightning cost. I like the splitter on it. I love the wheels. Dude, these are contenders. These are both contenders. Get the. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, yeah. So we're it gonna. It doesn't even have to be a truck. Now I'm. Just... Ooh, look at this. Those are the tires right there. Gold though. No, no, no bueno. I like the dirt tires. What about this thing? Get a real car. Yeah, it's gotta look scale. I, I'm gonna have to edit all those swears out, guys. I never swear, but for that, I swear. I never swear either. I've never swore. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna go with the, the classic black wheels for that. Wait, wait, what is this, power panel? I just now realized my keys are still in the car. Mike, if you go out there in the car, I'm gonna flip a gasket. <laughs> well, then we better hurry it up and get on out. Oh, look. Hey, look, this is cool. You seen this thing? Are you a Beatles fan? No. All right. Why are all these cars like made up? They don't have like real cars? People buy the real cars. Those are called fantasies. Check over here in the dump bin. It's pretty empty. Okay, this thing is sick, first off. That's a contender. It's got a good color on it. All right, all the real cars are gone. Yeah. So is that because grown adults come? Because all those. Well, I mean, it's not just adults, but yeah. Mostly. Is that C6? Get that trash out of my face. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the black. Oh cars. my god, bro! The hot dog car. <laughs> I wouldn't customize those because. Wait, bro! It's, it's a, already it's a, awesome. It's it has the rubber tires. Okay. Dude, you don't want to add that to your collection. I have it. Or you have the hot dog. I have, dude, I have almost everything in this this bin. Yeah, this is just what you call peg warmers, stuff that nobody wanted. Alright, TJ Maxx, we're looking for another Datsun. Oh man, there's like a bazillion people in line, and there they are. That's crazy. You guys weren't kidding. Oh, there's so many people in line. I think I might have to come back here. But it looks like there's like, they got just cases of this car. That's what it seems. Because there's like, look how many there are. Ugh, I don't want to wait in this line. I was hoping it wouldn't be here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. I actually have a reason to get in line. I'm out of Cologne. Brand new Joseph A. Banks Cologne for thirteen dollars. Can we flex that? Brand new Joseph A. Banks Cologne. Thirteen dollars. Oh, never opened. Let's do it. I'm gonna get in line for that. Look at look how many there are. I just paid twelve dollars at a car show for one of these. Why? It's ugly. It's awesome. And even more on the other side. Wow. You guys were not kidding. Holy crap. Quick little tidbit in this video, guys, because I'm currently trying to find solder for Ryan's project that we need to fix. And it's somewhere have... in my crazy bins here. I kind of lost it. Anyways, I never showed these on my channel before. My old job, I used to make these joysticks. So one day, I started making my own flight simulator box out of a cardboard box. I absolutely love this thing. As you can see, I have a bunch of buttons. There's joystick, there's boards connected to these joysticks that all come out to these. So I basically built a controller for the flight simulator. 
The second version of it here has a little bit lighter spring, which didn't end up being good enough, and no buttons on this one, but inside it's basically the same. And then right before I moved to Florida, I finally finished my dream box. I got this metal box here. It's basically the same as the cardboard box just over here, and we got the palm grip for the throttle, four axis joystick, rocker switches. Something's wrong with the board inside here, so at some point, someday, I have to open it up, switch the board out, but the prototype definitely works, and I just love that it's in a cardboard box. I mean, what else is cooler than that? We are checking out a Target. Tons of team transporters here. All the same ones, though. If you know what's funny, I would probably get the Fiat if I saw it right now. To be honest, probably would. So many cents here, what the heck? Walmart! Let's see if this Walmart got anything new yet. Yeah, they definitely didn't get anything new as far as the main lines go. Still Porsche set. No Matchbox. No moving parts. I, I don't even know what goes here. Wow, it is insanely bare. Holy crap. And of course it's not here either. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, the one time I want to buy it. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this spot. Man, I was hoping I was hoping the Fiat would be here. That's funny. Alright. Okay, little car update. We're moving on to the Porsche 911 GT1. This one is going to be a very satisfying restoration. This thing is pretty, pretty beat up. We're going to make it look brand new. If you saw the video where I picked this one up, I mentioned how it looks like someone tried to recolor it with some Sharpie marker or something like that. Yeah, this one is pretty bad. It's going to be amazing. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint this one yet, but this is probably one of the worst condition cars that I've done so far. You can see this one is in really bad shape. I think this is probably going to be one of the most satisfying since this Porsche here. What's up with the Porsches being satisfying? Well, I don't know if it'll be in this video or not, but if it is... Okay, it's not this video. It's not done yet. I got some other stuff done though. I'll show you. But yeah, let's go over what we got first. Custom 71 Dotson 240 Rotson. Yep, you guys are right. TJ Maxx is loaded up with these guys. It seems like they're getting just cases of this one car, which is funny because this thing was pretty hard to find. Also, note Ryan's comments. Why? It's ugly. He's right. It is pretty ugly, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely cool. So not much else in this video. These were hanging around. Did I, I don't even know if I got these in this video. If it's in the video, well, it's in the video. If not, then this won't ever make it in. Maybe it will. You saw the Porsche GT in a previous video. Here it is completed. It is blue. Uh, it, well, it's not completed yet. I didn't really finish painting the interior or anything. That's just its first draft. It looks all right. Not my favorite. Still a little bit to do on these. And then, I don't know, we'll see how it comes out afterwards. But, there is one I want to show you that did come out great. This guy right here, the Matchbox Tessarossa. Dude, it looks brand new. Now, the only problem I had is I really had to trim down the corners here. It's kind of hard to see because I painted it now. But I drummed the crap out of the base of this car just so I can get those wheels to fit. Because they are too narrow. So the offset is totally wrong, but... It's whatever. It looks amazing. The Ferrari red paint from Tamiya, well, it's called Italian red, is stunning. It's almost like they knew what color they wanted it to be. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!